This is part two of a two or three part series, depending on how far along I get, showing how you can be cropping an image like a character or another picture inside of a circle, and in this case having the head overlapped to create some visual interest. And this is going to be in PowerPoint. In the last video I showed you how you could uh, enclose the character within, um, and now we want to look at how you uh, get the head to, to be outside there. And I actually want to show you first what's wrong with using this method to get the, the head outside. So I actually saw an interesting um, screencast that, that Tom Coleman did where he found a, a, a tricky solution to this. Basically, um, the problem you're going to run into, if you were to just take the, the image that you had cropped and you scale it up, you'll see that um, it doesn't quite align with the circle. And um, what Tom did is by adding a border to that um, and then making the top transparent, um, where the head was, it actually covered that up, and I, I can point you to where that screencast is. Um, but essentially, you know, we just took this this circle crop. Now it's it's a the ratio is a little different. You know, 3.39 and 3.36 um, is bigger than the the three circle that I had there, and then I have a border that I added to it. And I'll show you guys how to add the border um, in a follow up video if um, if it's necessary. Um, but that works pretty well, right? Um, but uh, you, you do run into that problem. What if you didn't want the border? Well, now it's not flush. So I played around with it and found a way to do this flush. And what you need to do actually is it's the shape union approach. So um, what you're going to want to do is create a space for that head to go into and do a, a picture fill. So if we were to take this shape and now we just draw another shape, let's say up here gives her room for her head and I control click and I can go here I have it on, my, on the quick access toolbar. I suggest you the same shape union. I have a single shape. Let's remove that border. So actually we can just do it here. Remove the border. And now we want to do a fill and we're going to fill it with Alice in there. So we go format shape. Uh, we're going to fill it with a picture. And there she is. And we're going to uh, to tile her so that, so that she can go up above that circle. And actually, it's helpful to have a circle that's 3 by 3 so we can see if she's overlapping. Let's go ahead and, and do that right now. Okay, I went ahead and drew a circle that was 3 by 3 and I put her there. And look, uh, let's go ahead and send, let's get rid of the uh, rid of the border and send it to the back. And, you know, that's pretty good. Maybe I want her to, um, we'll have her overlap that much for this one. The exercise, but you'll you'll see um, see how her feet came up there. So I, I went ahead, I drew the circle, um, make sure there's no border, and then I, I filled it with the picture. But it tiled, and since it was tiling, it's uh, and and it went into that rectangle that I drew up top. It added her feet there. So now you need to go back and make uh, make a correction. But you'll notice that that problem went away. Um, and now if I go to align both of these. Um, so I grab that, that circle, and I grab her, and I line them bottom and middle. You'll see I don't have that same, that same issue as I do right here um, along the border with it not lining up. It lines up perfectly flush. So that's cool. But now we need to get rid of her feet up there. That's just a weird thing to have the feet. Um, so you can actually now go back, and it's kind of cool, since this is a shape here, we can go back to the drawing tool format, not the picture, but the drawing format, and we can go to edit the points. And you'll see, if we just drag these edit points down, we've now pulled her within that area. Oh, let's go ahead and pull her in. And there you are. So now, we have a perfectly flush character along the edge there with the head popping out. Pretty cool. Hope you found that useful.